chips and ranch flavored. The reason I got these is because I'm a really bad snacker. I have a habit of just snacking for no reason. So I said, you know, if I'm going to snack, I'm going to snack healthy, which is why I decided to grab these bad boys. Um, and they're better for you anyways. And plus, I've been in the gym a lot lately, as you can kind of tell. Just a little bit. Yeah, I've been in the gym a lot lately, and I've just been on a journey of discipline and just trying to overall better my health, which definitely includes eating better. Okay, my bad, y'all. I had to fix that real quick. Um, so, yeah. We got nacho cheese and ranch flavored protein. They both have 13 grams of protein, um, and they're also keto friendly, so amazing. And plus, I just got done working out, and I'm hungry. Like, I'm starving, so. We got, we got the snackies right here. Let me open them real quick. All right, y'all, I got the bags open. Ranch, nacho cheese. The ranch one honestly smells really good. I mean, it's, yeah, it's kind of a neutral smell, but you can, you can tell it's ranch flavor. And then the nacho cheese. They smell like.
it was like an inflated Dorito. It's valid. Very valid. It's definitely leaving me a little hungry still, but it satisfies for now. Thank you. 
and I still haven't applied for classes yet. Is that is that bad? That's really bad, actually. I need to do that. I mean, ASAP. I don't even know why. It's a lot going on right now, but I got nothing but faith that everything is going to work out. It's supposed to. I've been trying not to stress out about it because stressing about, stressing about anything, literally, it does nothing for any of us, so... Is who I used to be is such a major improvement and I'm, 
honestly so grateful. Like, I feel myself really turning a new cheek, and it's like sometimes I get a little bit, a little bit of anxiety about just going back to where I was before. But I can't let that little bit of anxiety stop me from being really great and stop me from being who I'm truly meant to become. And I know. I know I'm going to have my days where I may not feel the best or I may not want to do anything, but it's just the fact that I know I want to be better. And even on my worst days, I'm still finding ways to be good or just also allowing myself to get, you know, to take time for me or just take time to do nothing or, you know, overall, just learning to give myself a little bit more grace in everything I do. And that's, that's, that's a word for somebody. Give yourself grace. Be patient with yourself. You do not have to have everything figured out right now. You don't got to be super hard on yourself. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to look back on these days and, you know, regret anything. And I feel like putting too much pressure on yourself to have it figured out just you know it, it, it has a greater risk of you getting burnt out or just getting stressed out for no reason so it's safer to just not even safer it's better to give yourself a little bit of grace to you know mess up and make mistakes but the best thing about making mistakes is that you learn
the support y'all been giving me lately like my channel has been growing even when i'm not uploading so the fact that if i do start uploading i know my channel is going to grow a lot more and i want to see it grow for real i want to see everything i do grow i want to see my youtube channel grow uh, my vlog channel i want to see my social medias grow i want to see my life i want to see myself grow man and i want to see y'all grow too man let me know if y'all need anything from me i'm here i'm a shoulder to cry on if i need to talk i'm here dm me social media description comment down below I'll, whatever it is i'm here so yeah if you haven't already if you enjoyed the video press that like button comment subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next video man